Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Cobalt Core. Let me tell you, I have had a couple of days. I could really use a little bit of like laid back, cute fun here. I'm very much looking forward to this recording. So let us continue. We're going to start a run here today with uh, Drake. Her cards are strong attacks and status effects, but they cause heat and stuff. Um, I mean, do we want to turn the heat up more? We don't really know if there's any benefit to turning the difficulty up more. With this, we just need to continue to play with artifacts we've not played with before. And with this, we need to win one more run with Drake and the crew so that we can unlock Max so that we can play Isaac, Max, and Drake to get that. And that, obviously, you know, we're on our way. All right, so. The Ares. Uh, we get the warp prep. The Ares cannon. Your inactive cannon is armored. At the start of your turn, if you don't have a toggle cannon in your hand, gain one. Oh, because it has two different guns on it. Okay, that's interesting. So we have, we have two cannons and a missile bay and a cockpit and nothing else on the front. Uh, but we draw one less card each turn. That is rough. Well, I guess it's like you, you're getting the toggle cannon in place of that card, sort of. That's interesting. So the difference between hard and harder is... We don't know if it's events are even harder than they are on hard. There's an extra corrupted core. Uh, minus three max hull is compared to minus one. One less max hull gained from boss kills. Elites only offer two artifacts. Okay, so less, less selection. And then if you turn it on to hardest, take a downside on your boot sequence. Cockpit's brittle. Start with 50% of your hull missing and most enemies are harder. Okay, I mean, I kind of want to just keep turning it up till we lose, right? Uh, and the crew. So we, we leaned really heavily on Isaac's, Isaac's stuff last run. And also the run that is upcoming, provided we win, is going to be Isaac and Drake and Max. So for the sake of this run not being any more similar to that one than um, absolutely necessary, maybe we just do like Dizzy Riggs Drake? I know we're seeing a lot of the same cards and stuff that way, but um, Dizzy and Riggs have not yet been like the linchpin of a build, I don't think. I'm cool with this. Let's try it like this. Okay, uh, I would like a random rare. Give me something to build around. Shield gun. Okay. So mayhap we want to do sort of a shield build. Okay, everyone, you know the drill. Uh, what's going on? Hey! Hey, intruder alert! Oh, you guys. Sup? Whoop whoop! Alarm sounds! Seize this intruder! Ooh, these time loops are getting weirder. Your stupid time crystal must really be doing a number on the time stream. I was gonna say, we had seen Drake as an enemy and nobody had commented like, Hey, that's a person who's supposed to be our friend. So I guess Drake is just a raider who... Time shenanigans into our run here. How do you... Well, whatever. Now make yourself useful or I'm venting the Atmo and starting this loop over. Hey, did you guys know if you pull the voltage limiters out of your consoles, you can get increased weapon output? Um... Is that good? Is that a smart thing to do? Okay, so the armor is, like, handy as... In addition to there, it being nice to have the other part of the ship armored, it's cool as a way of indicating which one of the cannons is turned on right now. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so let's toggle so that we can EMP slug this guy and turn off his gun. And then, like, draw shot doesn't feel super necessary here. Cannot be permanently removed. That's rough. Okay, well, I guess this feels like an okay time to to hit it, though, right? Like, we'll just do this in two basic shots, get it out of the deck for this battle, at least. Okay. Instantly move to the right and burn heat. I think that's pretty okay. Although, you know, we're probably better off just going, like, block shot, block, 
bank a point of dodge and then we'll just take it on the armor. Doesn't even get through all of our shield. Okay, thank you, Riggs. I do basically understand the mechanics of the game at this point, kind of. Uh, and then we can just like cannon swap and bam, bam. It's not really like a lot of damage. Okay, there's that EMP slug again. Uh, well? Like, is Heat Sink EMP Slug the play? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So Heat Sink, toggle the cannons again. Maybe it would have been better off to just use our existing point of evade so that I could shoot one more time, but whatever. Okay, shield guns, interesting. This is sadly not quite lethal. Well, if I'm only going to be doing two damage anyway with my two energy, I probably should get a block out of it. We're not going to use the block this turn anyway. You know what? I'm playing shield gun because it's fun to play. All right. Show me a single point of damage. Oh, right. You have like, <clears throat> I'm just going to be over here, sir. So we build up a little bit of shielding. We do have to actually get through the shield. There we go. That's better. Okay, we need damage really badly. So, we haven't done much with stunning. Maybe this would be a good time to, to go for a little bit more of a, like, control the enemy build. And... It's bottom path if we want to focus on random events. Or middle path if we want to focus on just artifact gain. But like random events sometimes give artifacts. Let's go bottom. <laughs> I'm just burning through dialogue without reading it, but apparently Drake has a little bit of a reputation as an artifact thief. I mean, my guess is that we probably want to remove cards, but EMP slug does upgrade like pretty reasonably. Ooh, Heatsink B is better movement and flippable. I like that a lot, actually. The multi-stun actually deals damage if you upgrade it that way. Actually, we have a lot of interesting upgrades available. Okay, gain shield and then do this thing. You're very likely to hit this for like three or four then. That's more compelling, certainly. It's definitely, a, it's definitely a damage card upgrade, right? We need more damage, as, as much as I like the idea of upgrading Heat Sink. And I don't want to be so reliant on EMP Slug. Maybe the play is, let's upgrade Multi-Stun so we get some damage out of it. Just increase the density of damage effects in our deck. It's Grandma's Bakery with a fucking, that's <laughs> a mean looking bakery defense cannon on the bottom. Hello, dearies. What brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market today? Weapons! Cookie dough! Both? I'll have a look around. A random rare or throw something away. You know what? Show me rares. Okay. Strafe is not exactly what I was looking for. Um, obviously, we don't really have a way of getting four energy right now. Something to look forward to, I suppose. Uh, hey, just FYI, I'm going to steal this ship when we're out of here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's not a status effect. It looks like it has an exclamation point on it. That's just what the cockpit looks like. Well. I mean, the EMP slug makes this pretty straightforward. I really do like that EMP slug. Uh, and then I guess just make him bleed. This guy does not actually have a lot of HP. We might be able to just burn through it real fast. Uh, shield gun for two. That is the cockpit, which I don't love, but we can fix that. Yeah. Just shield gun for two, just deal three damage. It's like pretty solid, I think. Okay. a little awkward. I would really love some movement here. Um, 
I mean, multi-stun destroys the missile and cancels the shot, which is something. It's not like something great, but it's something. <laughs> Just put on a little bit more shielding so that if we, when we draw um, shield strike again, it's better. And then heat sink is not where I want to be right now. This is awkward. All right. Um, I changed my mind. I am going to heat sink. We're going to block shot here and we'll just take that on the armor. Okay. Uh, so what do we have here? We have three damage. Can't really do too much more than that. How much is this going to do? Three? Well, I reckon we probably ought to start with the draw shot. Okay, that just wins us the match. That'll do. That's why we start with the draw shot. Uh, Desperate Measures. <laughs> That's an interesting card. Shield up, but shield up, but overheat. Um, Bolt's not bad. Deflection is not bad either, actually. Yeah, you upgrade that to Deflection A. I think that's actually kind of compelling. Yeah, I'll take a Deflection. We have kind of a lot of cards in our... Or kind of a lot of um, expensive cards. Cards that cost more than one in our deck. Whenever I say expensive cards, I always just mean more than one. Um, so that's something we probably need to be paying attention to. Ow, my brain... Ah, you all again. Oh, hey, it's the extra planar being again. What do I value most? Um, I don't know that I value a single-use card very much at this point in the game. I guess, like, emergency ephemeral repairs is something, but, like, let's take ephemeral blast. Let's just take a way out of a battle that we don't like. And then I think... I think I would rather do a normal battle and get random cards than do the repair yard at this point. Well, no upgrades. We have we have a number of significant upgrades. Okay, prep batteries on the first turn. That's cool. Dizzy's feeling a little grim about the way things are running here. Do we want to take the deflection upgrade? Kind of want to just take strafe. I'm just going to, yeah, let's just make this more playable. You ever notice there's a lot of robots around here? Yeah, what about them? Well, the civilization that built them, they died out long before any of us got here. All these ancient war machines built to protect things long gone. I feel like we're trespassing. Wow, yeah. Anyway, point is I already feel bad, so I won't feel worse for robbing you. Okay, that logic holds, I think. Okay, uh, let's put some sh gunshots into these weak points, shall we? Uh, it's a shame that shield gun doesn't count your um, your temporary shield here. I think what we're going to do is just put up strafe. Okay, what is this? This is... Oh, temporary payback. Okay, well, that's... Pretty easy to deal with. We just don't shoot you this turn. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is actually an okay outcome. It's gonna hit me right in the temporary shield. Oh no. Wow, why don't we armor all our ships? You know, it's actually a very good question. It does feel like the, it would be the smart thing to do, doesn't it? Um... I mean, I want to do deflection, right? I think it's probably just deflection and basic shot. As much as it would be nice to bank, um, to bank some evade. I would have played basic dodge if we had drawn basic dodge. Uh, speaking of. Do we just step out of the way? I think so. Just step out of the way, get, get the Corrupted Core out of the deck for the moment. 
let you spend your let you spend your weird attack and let's see what comes of this. Well, a cannon toggle into a heat sink is damage on the parts of the ship that matter. I should have cannon toggled before firing. I totally spaced on that. This is not actually better than just hitting the basic shot, but it is more fun. But like, maybe I, you know what? I should probably just bank a point of evade. That's probably a better play. Okay. A little bit of safety override automatically firing on our behalf there, but it did hit us in the armored part at least. Uh, okay, so let's toggle the cannon and multi-stun. Right, that's good damage. Uh, and then I can't actually do anything about these. They're just We're just going to accumulate them. Uh, well, I will take that one more shot, and we're almost good. And I was trying to bank up for the shield gun. Didn't quite work out, but it's fine. Um, I actually like, have to shield surge and shield gun. I have to spend three energy to get one damage out of that hand. Damage equals your missing hull. That's interesting. I don't think I want it. Right? Because, like... Boy, from Hell's Heart B is fun. Um, there's just no universe where I want this attack to be good. And even... In order for it to be good, it needs to be dealing, like, at least three damage, right? I don't really want to be running around with that much hull missing. It's like a, it's a card that's only going to be good in boss fights. The thing is, if you put this card in your deck, you have a reliable heal. You have a heal that's not just limited to once per battle. And that's probably really rare. But also, this, this ship with its control rods can afford bad cards even less than the other ones. I think we just skip rewards here. Heal one after each combat or gain one energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. Well, I'm going to tell you, if I had seen those in the opposite order, <laughs> I'm going to take the energy refund. Maybe that's foolishness. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. So we're not really having that much trouble with the heat. I wonder if we could just take the upgrade to, to five damage on that. No, I'm gonna take this upgrade. Two, um, two energy for a three damage shot is so good. Okay, big crystal. So let's EMP slug, I really wish I had, I mean, let's start with the draw shot. Let's start with the draw shot. I was going to say I really wish I had some, like, movement or something. But let's, like, verify that we don't before complaining. And indeed we don't. Well. We'll land this. And then we'll block shots so we're actually not taking any damage. And the question is, do we want to spend the one point of evade that we started with or not? I think the answer is no. I think in a situation where you can shield off damage, you should. Ah, but am I banking for shield gun? Maybe I'm banking for shield gun, actually. It is possible that I'm going to really regret that. Um, Deflection A is, like, very good here. Yeah, I think this card is going to be, like, reliably fantastic every single time you can play it. And then we just, like, basic dodge and hold the basic dodge? I think so. I'm fine. I'm fine taking the two. Especially since only one of it actually goes to the shields. Uh, yeah. I really like strafe here and probably heat sink yeah that's pretty solid heat sink's a fun card 
I do think this is a perfectly reasonable situation to just play our ephemeral blast. We use it to just burn past like any boss. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll move over so as not to take the shot in the weak point. This will cover the basic shielding. Okay, I feel all right about that turn. This is really nice. Having a ship that is really narrow like this is awful useful. Uh, great deflect, draw shot. I guess I didn't really need to draw shot there. We couldn't have. Well, it was the only one one energy damage card in my hand. Never mind. It's perfectly reasonable. Uh, and then what do you have? Seven. Seven's awkward. Um. Yeah, seven's really awkward. <laughs> So we can, we can almost get there. Well, this will only be four damage overall, right? Because we'll armor one of this and weak one of this. So I can just shield gun and do that and just, like, just absorb the volley because we've been so good about armoring. And then all we had to do is draw anything, any damage at all. Woo! <laughs> one extra hull! Yo, is that what it looks like? The next time you would gain any amount of heat, instead lose one serenity. Okay, no, I was kind of thinking that it looked like um, it looked like uh, don't die when you would die, instead do not die, but no. And then mitosis is kind of weird. I like serenity. I think this is a fun because it draws a card like it's it's a very cheap version of the thing that it is. OK, anytime you gain shield, gain attempt shield. Gain one shield at the start of every turn, but if shield is already full, take two hull damage. I mean, that's pretty cool. Gain an energy and a heat every turn. I don't know that I want to play the gain one heat each turn game when we only have as much hull as we have. I think Prototype 22 is actually quite good. Got another crystal chunk for science. Are you sure you should be touching that? It's fine. I'm more interested in the effect it has on you. On me? Yeah, look. Your holographic matrix. It's flickering. So what? And if I hold it closer... Okay, yep, yeah, that's doing something. What? what? What is it? Interesting. So I wonder if defeating the first boss a certain number of times is going to uh, have some permanent effect on cat.exe. Okay, friend. Uh, welcome to hell. So to some extent, we are encouraged here to just like, just let shots hit the armor so that we are bleeding armor. Um, I think I'm just gonna bank a bunch of scramble. That seems good. Okay. No reason not to play the Serenity. Let's draw some cards. We can shield gun here and then toggle the cannon off. That's not terrible, but I think we'll just, like, the multi-stun's good, right? Okay. I think the buff he's going to gain is just more, um, yeah, more power drive. So that's dangerous and might have been a good thing to cancel had we the opportunity. Perfectly fine time to play strafe. Don't really have a super strong plan. Okay, like any time now we could draw that, uh, we could draw that shield shot. Okay, EMP you and also give you one of these. Okay, well, I mean, like, we super win, right? It's a good ship. Oh, wow. Hotfoot A, two points of evade for one energy is definitely compelling. 
Some stun charge is also pretty compelling. But like, I'm a little I'm a little concerned about our damage cards. Like, I don't know how many more non-damaging cards I want to put in the deck. Quick thinking B is at least it's giving it's getting us to our cards, right? Um, so it's one question mark no matter what. If we take this lower path, we can get double double elites and also still get question marks and everything. Like, I think this is the way. And I think we're still pretty eager for repairs. Or um, not repairs, for, for upgrades specifically. Um, I really do like the upgrade on shield gun. What does um, Serenity B is compelling as well, but that's only one, you know, you only get that the benefit of that once per battle. I'm gonna take the shield gun upgrade. Give me a little shield before you uh, before you actually fire. Okay. Hey, Star Dog is out here biting my style. Ah, uh, yeah. Deflection sounds pretty solid. We'll just toggle the cannon. Get that corrupted core out of my deck, and I think just bank some dodge. Armor's cool. It is fun to have armor. All right, so. Do you have to do damage with an attack to kill a missile, I wonder? I don't know that I want to test it in this situation, but it might be interesting to see. Um, I think what I want to do here definitely is just move out of the way of the missiles and bust this dude for shield gun. Oh, right, except... I'm going to take damage from my... Uh, from my overzealousness if I do that. You know what? Let's let's test some stuff. No. An attack kills a missile. It doesn't actually have to deal damage. That is useful information, probably. Okay, I do have to actually get hit by something at some point in the near future, or we're gonna overload our shields. <laughs> I think we're cool ending the turn here. Alright, Serenity Me. These things interesting. So these do two damage, right? Yeah, so toggling the cannon, we just take one here. And I EMP slug you, not for the EMP, but because it deals damage. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm, what am I doing? Yeah, there goes my hull. <laughs> Remember when I was like, this is not, it's not going to be a problem. It's never going to be a problem. Uh, okay, so. Both basic dodge and scramble are in the deck. I would really like to move so that our cockpit is not in front of this big heavy missile. We can multi-stun and end up with this thing. No, the multi-stun moves us over once, so we'd still have the cockpit in front of a missile. I'm going to draw a shot. Okay. So basic dodge gets me not that different of a situation. I have six shield. So this is four, this is two. I mean, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I think that ends up being sensible. Yeah, we just, we have to play the game a little bit is all. Okay, this would be a really fun time to have movement, but uh, we don't. So you have seven hull remaining.
All right, let's toggle the cannons. Get you with that deflection. So I'm on two and two now. We're actually okay. And I guess I just take a point of shield. I'd rather take. I'd rather deal damage, but we can't. It's gonna be a lot of just like tanking shit <laughs> on this run. Uh, show me more cards. Okay, that works. Little embarrassing. Tiny little bit embarrassing. Okay, attack for your heat level and then instantly end the turn. Shield capacity up and shield up. This card is not discarded when played. Discard a card, draw two cards, lose a heat. And you can, essentially, you can just do that any number of times during your turn. That's interesting. It definitely helps you dig for stuff. Pulse Barrier seems, like, pretty whatever, in my opinion. I don't know that I like Flashpoint very much. And I think Ventilator's, like... Do I think Ventilator's good? I, I'm not even sure, honestly. If you upgrade it to Ventilator B the effect of just drawing four cards is definitely pretty meaningful. I'm gonna take it. That's a weird one, though. Ew, that's a lot of guns there, friend. That's, like, really a lot of guns. I mean, the situation we're in right now, though, we're not really taking meaningful damage, though, so let's just go ahead and deflection and shield gun. This is a pretty good start, I think. And we're immediately at the place where I need to get hit. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I can just stand right here and take some shots. Uh, show me more cards that deal damage. I love damage. All right, let's burn the Corrupted Core. Basic shot, basic shot. Please feel free to bleed me a little bit. Okay, I think maybe like turning on strafe. Yeah, I think I want to turn on strafe. And then moving to the right is actually kind of bad. Well, it's less bad if I swap guns first. I could just move left, though. We'll take four damage here. That's not so bad. It gives it gives me some room under my shield cap. This run's definitely got me um, thinking differently. <laughs> so I kind of like move right, EMP slug, and basic shot. It gets us a pretty decent chunk of damage. Gives us time to build up a little bit more shield. Show me more damage cards. Show me more damage cards. Okay. Yeah. That'll work. Oh, what am I doing? I'm shooting at the... I'm not, I'm not even looking at the enemy's health bar. I'm looking at my hand. And so I'm not noticing that I'm not dealing any damage. Okay. Who armors the cockpit? Really? What kind of monster? Um, seven, huh? Well, it's pretty awkward. I guess we're doing like deflection and shield surge and then we're taking three damage. And it's only one actual damage to the shields. Would I rather EMP slug? Yeah, I think so. One last thing we have to try to shoot past next turn. All right, show me four damage. That is not four damage. Uh, in fact, 
It's a little awkward. I guess we're going to do the multi-stun. Turn off a couple of those. Oh, right. I forgot multi-stun was going to do an extra attack from the strafe. So actually, we have a kill. Strafe's pretty good. What is that? Gain one stun charge every turn. Yo! What? That's very fun. That's a very fun card. Give me that one. How am I ever going to play it? You let me worry about that. Hey, is anyone else getting a really bad headache? Oh, it's, it's from that high-pitched static. What is that? Ah, you all again. Okay, um, kind of want to hit the Drake cards on this one, just because we have, I feel like we've seen the fewest of those. Ooh, Hot Compress. Or Volatile Vapor. Attack, Shield Capacity down. Boy, that is a, that is a one energy attack that does three damage and doesn't exhaust. But also, <laughs> Shield Capacity down is a little scary. Hot Compress is kind of fun. What's it upgrading to? Let's take Hot Compress. I think that's that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, a fair amount of the time... Yeah, I'll take that. A fair amount of the time, the Hot Compress is just going to do the damage to you again. But there are ways around it, right? We have, we have trickery for that already. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. Uh, I think we just, like, move over and play our whole hand. Seems fine. It's, like, the least exciting turn ever. Um, okay. Swap the cannon up. Let's burn that and... Basic shot, because, like, ventilators don't really make a lot of sense there. Why draw cards when you're out of energy? Sometimes there are reasons. Okay. So we do need to upgrade Stun Source or draw it on the first turn for it to actually do anything. Uh, am I going to overshield? Well, I mean, I'm going to be at max shield, obviously. I think we can just play Deflection and block shot intentionally not swap the cannon and this will this will peel two points of shield off it put us in a pretty decent spot um cap wise what a weird way to run a ship uh yeah show me something show me something shield gun is something we definitely shield gun for sure and then just swap the cannons. I mean, I should play the Serenity. In this case, it's worth playing the thing just to get the Serenity buff up. Where are you at? Seven? Well, we're not getting to seven this turn. Boy, turning on Strafe feels pretty weak, but also... You know, I don't know what else we're going to do. But I'll just toggle the cannons. We'll take... take three here. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, move over, get that strafe damage. Boom, boom. I should have moved over via heatsink. What am I doing? Burn the corrupted core, even though that doesn't actually matter at this point. And then swap these. Okay, not a scratch. So, basic dodge lets me do this, and then we have a kill. Ace gives you evade every turn. There's definitely like a sort of a passive, <laughs> sort of a passive generation set up here where we just get a bunch of buffs on us and then ride to the end of the battle with that stuff and like with it's hard for me to imagine ace is the wrong card to take here 
yeah, with strafe in our deck already, I let's take ace for sure. Uh, ship overheats at four instead of three is actually immediately relevant. Enemy cockpits start with weak is also very good, but we don't um we don't have any like multi shots, at least not multi shots that hit the same location. So this isn't as relevant as it would be on some runs. It's not like as much of a slam dunk. Uh, and this lets us play that heal card as a heal, and that's a Starnacle. <laughs> okay. Well, multi sounds like really good here. Okay, and then show me some more cards. Yeah, deflections. Deflections, all right. Give me your weird visions. Uh, do we want to turn on the other cannon and just shoot through? I think so. Right, so it's like block shot EMP slug gets me one point of one point of actual shield damage. It buys us a little bit of time. Okay. So that brittle part is brittle right now, but also it's doing that thing, and I think I'm just going to ignore it. I think we're just gonna shield gun. Um, no, if I shield gun, I will actually be very sad. I do not want to shield gun. This is a bad time to draw that. Uh, yeah, I want a Corrupted Core and then not play any of these cards so that I don't lose two hull at the beginning of the turn. That's unfortunate. Okay, and we gotta take some damage. Um, also, not a bad time for a Hot Compress. No, this is a positively good time for a hot compress. Uh, do I just bank shield? Or bank the scramble? I think so. I think it's like scramble, move this way, take some hits, turn the cannon back on next turn. Just peels a little bit of shield. Okay. Um... It's not a terrible time to just turn on strafe. This thing has a lot of health. There's a, there's a lot of fight left. And then having turned on strafe, we also get to shoot. I can afford to take four. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna toggle the cannon, heat sink, and then move back over. And I know that seems like a lot of resource expenditure, but getting us down to only two heat, I think, is valuable so that we can actually play the MP strike. Uh, okay, this is just it's just garbage. It's not doing any like special extra harm to us. Ooh, rough. All right, well, this might be a turn for just like building up and playing visions, just getting a visions out of our deck. Since we were going to gain one. Yeah, I really like the fact that Shield Gun, even when we haven't been putting any real effort into it, it's just it's just kind of like building up to be pretty good all the time. It's nice. Uh, do I want to draw a shot here? I think we're pretty likely to Shield Gun no matter what. I think I'm also moving over one space. I really want to um, switch guns then. 
And that means we're actually looking at potentially taking some, like, actual meaningful damage. Because I'll be, I'll be... Yeah, we'll be taking four and we'll only have three shield. It's not the end of the world, especially considering that we did gain a health already this fight. It's fine. But I guess we don't have to. Like, I could just do this and then move over and just not take any damage. And we'll play ventilator just to bleed heat. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, we did draw a scramble, which is very good. Let's swap cannons, tap you a couple of times, and then get out of the way. That's, like, fine, right? It's not super exciting. Yo, you have become... You have become crystal mode. You seem angry, friend. I like Ace B here. Toggle the cannon and... Right? Oh, that's a lot of Abyssal Visions, actually. <laughs> Well, things have become increasingly dangerous. Drop one of these. And we cannon toggle for the shield. This, this boss is mad. This boss is mad that I have not done the murder yet. Scramble, toggle, move. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, that's just a rock. My friend, you have hurled a rock at me. That got a little scary. Uh, thermal battery. Okay, gain in energy is definitely interesting. Options is fine. You know what? If you upgrade options to B, or if you upgrade options to A rather, to evade off of a single energy is, is considerably better than fine. Thermal battery is also, I mean, it's kind of a lot better than fine, right? I think we gotta take the thermal battery. While your hull is under half, all of Drake's uh, attacks deal one plus one damage. That's something. Heat can be reduced to minus three. That's cool, too, especially with the card we just took. I like that. Let's take that. Am I healing before the boss? I'm not. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> I think we're taking this, right? Where we're doing this thing. Sometimes we're going to have more energy, and that's fun, but I don't want to have cards cost four in my deck. Three is fine. Three is actually kind of good. There seems to be a nearly infinite supply of you guys, huh? You too. No, there's only one of me. I'm the original flavor, baby. That's probably true, huh? Okay, so... Ace right off the bat feels like it feels like we got to do that, right? And then I probably want a shield gun. It's like, how exactly do I want to position for this? We have up to three moves. If I just match guns for guns in the middle, we're only going to take two damage. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's just hold a couple points of evasion, ready to uh, ready to run away again next turn. And there's the strafe. The strafe is cool. Uh, yeah, for sure. I feel really good about this combo coming up so early.
I like the song of battle. <laughs> the, uh, the combo's nice. Um, so let's get the Serenity so that the, cold, the hot compress doesn't give us any heat at all, which is fantastic. And then we have one evade and multi stun. I really wish we could multi stun in the other direction. I think as it is, I'm kind of wondering if we're playing multi stun at all. We might be doing a ventilator instead. Moving to the right gets us hit for two damage but staying here also makes us take two damage. If I do multi-stun, it puts us in for one from the missile, three from this. No, like it's definitely wrong to multi-stun. So let's burn the corrupted core. I guess I should have burned the multi, the ventilator first. That was silly. Cause like we're going to draw cards and we would like to be able to play them. And I guess there's no point in using the evade. Okay, so the temporary shield's very annoying, for sure. If we slide right a little bit, we can cancel some of these missiles. And we can just damage through the temp shield. Yeah, let's let's step over here. We'll hit the deflection. And I guess thermal battery, it probably makes more sense to bank dodge than to take both of these shots. Especially since, an, uh, sorry, an evade is a shot. And then, I really need more damage. We just need like so much more damage output. I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'm pretty sure we don't want to play Ventilator. I think we want Scramble more than anything. And we want to go, like, hit the missile. Oh, right, I totally forgot about the Ricochet Paddle. That's actually very good. Um, turn off both of those and then slide back over here so I'm not taking the shot on my, uh, on my weak point. And then... We just do draw shot, even though we don't want the cards just because it's damage. We just want to do anything that is damaging. That gets me thermal battery. I don't think I actually want a thermal battery here. Yeah, without knowing for sure. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, turning off the temporary shield gains is a really big deal. Uh, it feels to me like you gotta play stun source. Let's also get quick thinking. We won't get our first actual charge of stun source until next turn, sadly. Step over here. We have two copies of Toggle Cannon. Are we supposed to be generating this even when we don't, ha even when we do have one? That's weird. I'm gonna just double toggle us. I don't, I don't know. In case of a bug or whatever, we can, can we can continue taking that. So it's your first attack each turn stuns. So this turn, hmm. Yeah, I don't want the stun to get eaten up by the missile, but I guess our plan is to get back over here again anyway, so. If we toggle cannon and then like basic shot, 
slide over EMP slug. Ugh, I want to be able to toggle cannon twice. Like, I really, really do. I think... I think we have to move over and bounce the missile. Right, because that's a two damage attack. Yeah, it's just, it's too good. And then we hit a basic dodge so that we can move over here and break that. Um, and then I guess I EMP slug more for damage than anything else. And I'm going to toggle cannon now, so if that situation comes up again, we can do things in the other order. Uh, okay. Yeah, so this is like, we want to we wanna take our block shot here. Heat sink. Toggle the cannon. Move over. This is actual hull damage. I know it's not. I did a block shot. Right. Cool. We just kind of like keep repeating the sequence. It's actually very good. Uh, so in this case, I want to toggle over to here. We're just going to like draw shot and break that. And then show me more cards. Shield gun is cool. So, what, like, shield surge, thermal battery, shield surge, shield gun for three, and leave us with, like, a pretty decent amount of shield overall. Which, obviously, the weak takes it up to four. And then we're looking pretty good for a kill, honestly. You get two shields, so you have six total health here. So if I step left, that takes you to five. Yeah, step left, then multi-stun. There's no way to quite make this work, is there? Well, I, okay, so it's step left and I hit you for two, which takes you to three. No, this totally works, this totally works. What am I talking about? It's just important to hit the weak points. The weak points are, is this where all the damage is hiding? Okay. Feels like a pretty good start to a run, right? Attack for two damage if this kills gain one max hull. Yo. Piercing attack for three. I think I, I think we're taking the pillage and plunder, right? It's a shame. Like, we're at the end of the game now. We're moving into the final area. So what are the odds that we're actually going to get? What are the odds that we're going to get value from this? Putting us into payback mode. Hey, wait, does payback not wear off at the end of the turn? Oh, I think we're taking that then. Pillage and Plunder is, like, very cool if you're not at the end of the game. Uh, Glass Cannon. So, I don't I don't think a part can be both weak and armored. I don't know how this would interact with the Ares Cannon. Because, like, this is going to apply weak at the start of combat. And then the first time you play, and it's going to over, what I, what I assume will happen is it will overwrite the armor trait. And then the first time you swap, is it going to apply armor over top of the weak? Hmm. Two cards of return, you're offered one less card in post-battle card rewards, and you may no longer skip card rewards. That's not really that big of a deal at this point in the game. Uh, and this thing just lets us start rich with shields and evades. Honestly, I think we're probably going to take the high-frequency intercom. I I want to understand this glass cannon interaction, and I usually, usually when we hit a thing where I'm not sure how it works, the way we resolve that is by trying it. But I think our run's going pretty well, and I don't want to tank it right at the end. That said, what extra energy every turn is also extremely good in our deck. 
Uh, all right, let's find out. I can't help myself. We will discover the interaction. And you know, even if it does work the bad way and we actually are weak on both sides of our ship permanently, no, the armor trait, the armor trait does apply over top. That's fantastic. But I was going to say, even if it does work that way and we're three, three spots weak out of four, we might still be able to get there with the amount of energy we have. All right, so let's... Boy, wish that we had some of our stuff in different positions. Serenity, show me a card that deals damage. Well, okay. We do have a strafe, so I guess that kind of does do that. Okay, the the arm the weak trait is underlying, so we we'll just have to be smart. That's all. I've been smart before. I can do that. Who says I can't? Okay, well that's my weak spot. I would prefer if you were not doing that. Uh, Ace B is for sure. Toggle the cannon. Bank me a scramble. We'll just stand over here for a moment. Let that temp shield wear off. I need to stun that. That's really frustrating. Um, okay, so we want to take a hit on purpose. It would be very good to take a hit on purpose here. Pretty sure this is like shield gun. Shield gun's real good. And then I just like walk myself all the way across the ship. I guess I could just do this, toggle the cannon, and just eat two. That's not so bad, right? Don't actually want to play cold or hot compress. I think this is fine. Okay. Stun source is pretty fun. Yeah, okay. I think stun source is reasonable here. Every battle's kind of a long battle on this difficulty, it feels like, so. Uh, we have stun source, but we don't have a stun available yet. So how do I want to position for this? We do have three points of evade. The right position might just be, it might be like, let's take a draw shot here. That's a little bit of a shame. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, I don't know what I was hoping for. We had all this, all this um, temporary shield that we weren't gonna be able to get through no matter what. Uh, and then I think we just like move over like that. Again, take two, get out from under some of this shield pressure. And I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to play the shield card. I'm going to do this. We're going to go to minus one heat. That's probably worth doing. Okay. Multi sun's like fantastic this time. And then. Hell yeah. Five damage. Five damage makes sense. Okay, so I have two evade. A strafe left kills that. And then we can go into payback mode. Move left, basic shot you. End turn, take a hit, take a shot back. Um, I can't help but notice that this is not a lot of damage in my hand. Let's move over here and cancel this. And then shoot you for one. And then Ventilator's got to draw me a card that deals damage. 
It did. <laughs> Heat sink deals damage with this configuration. Yeah, I still need more damage cards, unfortunately. Uh, Hotfoot's a lot better than it was before. Exothermic release. It's a small damage piercing attack that also dramatically reduces our heat. It's like fine. An explosive slug is better. It's a better card. But like we actually will get minus three heat off of this probably pretty close to every time we play it. Yeah, it's probably Explosive Slug just because this is a card that stays in our deck. Like, we just need more attack cards in the deck, I think, at this point. Okay, and here's our final map. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We might just stick this bottom route, see what kind of weird stuff pops up. Um, yeah, it is definitely harder. It definitely feels harder, but... I'm feeling optimistic. The ship is doing some weird stuff, and I am very into all the weirdness. Uh, so when you come back next time, we're going to attempt not to burn down in outer space. And we'll see you then.